John Krasinski recently started his own news show, SGN, Some Good News. It's a great idea. At a time when we are absolutely surrounded by, by bad and terrifying news stories, by uh, overwhelming statistics and graphs, it's nice to find some good news. And there, are, there is some good news in the world. But if you, you, you add up all of the stories that can be told uh, in this world, uh, all of the news stories that, that you could add up, whether good or bad, if you weighed the good against the bad, there's probably way more bad stories, a whole lot more bad news in the world than there is good news. It's good to try to find some good news, though. And, and in our gracious God, we have the promise of some good news. We have that wonderful news of the gospel. Um, but we certainly seem surrounded by, by bad news, uh, bad stories all, all around and, and terrifying statistics, just completely surrounded by them. Uh, we can choose to try to find the, the good, though. Uh, we don't have to listen to, to all of the bad stuff. We can turn on an SGN kind of segment and focus on that. Um, or we can choose to, to listen to all of the bad stuff uh, and be, be weighed down. Thankfully, in God, uh, we have this promise not just of some good news, but that he's going to surround us with it. In Psalm 32, uh, we have this in verse 7, uh, that he will surround me with songs of de deliverance. He will surround me with songs of deliverance. Um, now, I can choose to ignore that. I can choose to, to, to put away the, the word of God. I can choose to ignore the, the whole book of the Psalms. I can choose to ignore the, the Gospels. Um, but there in the scriptures, uh, he is trying to surround me with, uh, with songs of deliverance wonderful, comforting songs. And this is what his desire is. Um, I would be a fool to ignore that. I would be a fool to, to only focus on all of the, the problems that are around us in the world, to, to only look at the, the terrifying statistics and wring my hands and, and worry and complain about the other people and how they're making everything worse. I would be a fool to only focus on that and not sit in the scriptures and be surrounded by songs of deliverance. This is his desire, and this is his, his desire to, is to, to give you this kind of gift that in your ear and going into your heart again and again and again are songs of deliverance, comforting songs, and songs that point us to Jesus and to his victory for us on the cross and out of the tomb. In him, there's songs of deliverance to be surrounded by that will never be, be done with, uh, that will never get old. They are always fresh. Whatever musical tune they might be sung to, the songs of deliverance in the scriptures, which are all over, are always fresh and always comforting. And they outweigh all of the bad news that you could find. All of the bad news that is uh, constantly uh, on cable news shows right now. Uh, none of that will outweigh, even if you multiplied it by like a gazillion, none of that outweighs the songs of deliverance that are found in Christ Jesus our Lord. Uh, for he delivers us from sin, from death, and from the power of the devil. And Psalm 32 focuses on his deliverance for us uh, from our own sin, from our transgressions. Let's pray Psalm 32. Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. 
Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you, while you may be found. Surely when the mighty waters rise, they will not reach him. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and bridle, or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. Rejoice and be glad, you righteous. Sing, all you who are upright in heart. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Peace be with you.